Hello my sweethearts. Welcome back to the channel. This is Tara with Tara's Take. Um, in case you're new here. <laughs> anyway, so today is Mass Monday. Um, I got this idea for these from um, Tina originally. And then I think she got them from Gail. I've never seen Gail's video. Don't know where it is or what it's called. <laughs> And, I mean, I know where it is, but I don't know how to find it because I don't know what it's called. I would have to go through and do an amazing search <laughs> to find it. <laughs> anyway, um, the first time I did these was with Tina about a, about a year and a half ago. And I made some. And when I made them at the time, I had not made a junk journal yet. I was just stocking up on ephemera and uh, learning how to, you know, make things. And so they're made originally from a 12 by 12 pad. Well, my journals are too narrow. Um, I use a eight and a half by eleven paper uh, turned, you know, horizontally. So it's like, you know, it's six inches is too long for mine. I'm not sure if this is a full size. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, this one's a full size. I did not cut this down yet. Um. So yeah, I decided to come back on with you guys and make some new ones out of more current papers that I'm using and also in a more acceptable size for my junk journals because I really, really like them. Check them out. So you've got the front page, right, your front panel, and then you have a pocket here and a pocket here, okay? And then depending on how you do this, you can have a pocket here or you can glue this and have and cut this and have a pocket on the top a big deep pocket and then you have the back ones and you have pockets again okay so you've got tons of usable space here and um, so they're they're kind of fiddly I'm gonna be honest took me a few uh, tries because I couldn't find Tina's video either so what I did was I took apart one I took this one apart uh, that I had made originally to to see how it was done okay so basically I'm gonna I'm gonna sit this to the side but I might utilize it to show you guys what I'm talking about now like I said these are made with eight and a half I mean by 12 by 12s normally okay I did bring along a couple of eight and a half by 11 because I made one with it yes with this size yesterday and it worked out really well so <clears throat> I have here some cardstock and this is all pretty thick which you know this one is is made with cardstock and it's very sturdy okay I like the ones I chose however if you want to use a thinner cardstock or a thinner um, scrapbook paper feel free because or even a copy paper thickness like this is because these are kind of a lot of folding and stuff and you know that can be kind of tricky with thicker paper so depending on what you want so what you're going to need is I would advise some double-sided papers um, if you don't mind things being sideways or upside down utilize pages with words and stuff um, this one has one place in it where the words are upside down and it's this pocket which I will decorate over so it won't matter that it's upside down and I have this right side up. So this this little part of the nest is upside down. But if you look in the back, it's right side up because of the way that it's folded and cut and all that stuff. So, okay, so bear with me because this is a little bit confusing. So I'm gonna grab a piece here and I'm gonna go ahead with the first piece and I'm gonna do this one that has the print. Now it has word on this side, but um, I'm not real worried about that because it's probably going to end up on the inside anyway if I'm not if I do this correctly. So watch and 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 you're probably going to have to rewind this a couple times. <laughs> you're going to see me talk my way through this one, okay? Cuz this is a little confusing. So these are going to be these sides are going to be my pockets. Okay? So I'm going to well no, no. I apologize. Let's fold this in half first. The one way. Okay, so we're going to fold this whole thing in half, and I'm going to use my bone folder. You can use your scissor handles. You're also going to need your glue, and uh, let's see, and things to decorate with, of course. Your papers that you want to use for this, 
like I said, I think probably the the most easy thing to do is use patterned papers. If, but if you don't mind things being upside down or sideways, then don't worry about that. Because you're not able to get every single side with this particular booklet um, or little pocket booklet. You're not able to get everything the, the correct way if you're going to fold it. So, okay, now we have this like this. Okay, so let me, I'm looking over here at my other one because I want to make sure. So the part that you want on the inside, okay, is where you're going to fold your pockets. And I want this little guy upright. And hopefully I will have him on the right side when it's all said and done, and he will be. I hope, I hope. Um, like I said, this can be a little confusing. I went through and, and did this thing about six different times in different ways, trying to make sure that I understood the manipulation of the paper before I did this video. Um, it was very confusing, and I took like two hours of fiddling with this yesterday just to make sure and now it's been a whole day and my brain, my old brain is like, um, I don't know if I remember. <laughs> so, so please forgive me if I'm confusing at all. So now you've got the both, you folded it into fourths, okay? And now you have folded your two pocket sides, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this over and I wanna cut these little pockets so there's a little bit of a wedge there because I want room for it to close correctly okay so we're just gonna go from that very corner and you're just gonna shave a little bit off of course you can make it wider if you want your pocket to have more of a V on the inside I just want a small uh, shaving of that and if you take this up to the other side you can use that if you'd like as a little guide so it's about the same size, okay? Hopefully that, there we go. Okay, now, when you bring it back in, your pockets have this little gap, see? Where they're not gonna, well, this side didn't do it quite as well. I'm gonna trim that just a little bit more. But um, where they're not, rubbing against each other and folding each other over okay see so when this closes it will close correctly for you that's why you do that okay so now we got to figure out which side we want to be our cover and our back cover okay and this is where it gets a little bit confusing and that's why I kept this with me because this kind of gives us a nice idea because this is going to be folded in half as you can see so what happens is we're going to cut this side okay now you're going to fold this over like this and then you're going to turn that and you're going to go ahead and what I did was I just I didn't try to do a straight line like this. I folded it back out so I could see the line and I just cut along the line. I didn't mean to cut little guy in half. His little face is now cut in half, but oh well, it happens, right? That's why I'm saying you probably want to use patterned paper. Um, and you're just going to cut right to that little corner. I went off just a little bit. Now, it's folded in half, okay, and watch. There's your front cover, and there's your back cover, okay? So now what we're gonna do is get our glue. My neighbor kids are being really loud. I know you probably cannot hear it, but they are. I don't know, can you hear that? Anyway. So now we're going to move, or not move, we're going to glue. Sorry, I'm distracted by my neighbors. We're going to put the glue on these little 
inside pockets. Okay, where's my dry wipes? I'm just gonna press that down. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I apologize, girls. One thing we are gonna do first, because if we don't, this will be too big. Well, at least for me, this will be too big. So I am going to trim off the end over here, okay? Because I want this to be a little bit shorter so that it'll fit into my journal. And I know I'm chopping that poor little bird up, aren't I? Yeah. But you know what? I can't help it. I, I'll have to decorate around where he's at because this needs to be shorter for me. My pages are never more than what, let's see, eight and a half, or I mean 11, so they're no more than five and a half. And uh, I can't have them be that big, so. I'll just have to decorate where the bird is. Hopefully I got that even as possible. Yeah, that'll be better. Okay. Let's just decorate. He's pretty much gone now. <laughs> but the flower's there. Okay. So, now I'm going to go ahead and... I still think this is a little long, too. See, I told you guys this might be a little bit fiddly for me this first time out. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and we have done our cutting. Of course, I still see where it's uneven. I apologize, kids. I had one of you ask me, you know, why I don't use my cutter. And I'm like, well, it's down here, put away. It's kind of like my sewing machine when I pull it in. I really, I really have to feel like I need it because otherwise I'm not gonna use it. I know that's silly, but it's such a hassle to get it to um, cooperate with me when I'm on camera. So, I need one of those small ones like Gail has. Have you guys seen hers? I actually looked them up and they're kind of expensive. I was surprised because they're just little guys. You know, it's not like, you'd think it would be cheaper. But I actually paid less for my big one than, than those are. So, I don't know. Now, all right, so now we're gonna glue our pockets down. Go ahead and you're gonna put a little bit of glue on the edges of your pockets. Just like, you know, normally with, with stuff like this. Okay. All right, as you can see, these are kind of fiddly. I warned you, because that's why I didn't bring very much paper with me. I know I'm not going to be able to do too, too many of them. Okay, maybe once I get to going, it'll be better. I went ahead and used this paper with wording and pictures on it and stuff right away because I figured, you know, get it out of the way. <clears throat> All right, so now you're probably wondering, what do we do with the other pocket? Okay, so the way we're gonna make this other pocket is, okay, you've got your front and your back, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna glue along, now, this is where you'll decide, do you want it to open from the side or do you want it to open from the top? I think, because I ended up trimming off quite a bit of um, the side and also, just because I like the deeper pocket, I think I might go ahead and put this one as a top pocket and trim that top off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put glue all along the edge, okay? And if you don't, if you don't want it to be a top loading pocket, don't put any glue on this side, okay? Put just a little bit more just in case I have to trim that at all anymore. Okay. All right. And then you're gonna go ahead 
and bring those two pieces, those two sides together. And I'm gonna get this one and set it off to the side and I'm gonna set the back one off to the side because oh, I am just clumsy today. I don't want the glue to get all over the other parts of the book. Okay, while I press this together. I'll tell you guys, I, ever since I got back from vacation, my goodness, I threw my scissors across the, <laughs> all across the room. Um, ever since I got back from my vacation, I have been so, oh, look at me, so out of it. Um, I am, I'm just, oh, I don't know what's going on with me. It's, it's like I'm still in vacation mode. Do you know what I'm saying? You know how when you go on vacation, you kind of get tired or... I've been super tired this week. I think I mentioned that the other day. And um, just kind of distracted, not able to focus like I want to. Um, and I can see what Tina means about when she's away from filming and then comes back. I'm not necessarily nervous to film but I just haven't been able to get myself in the right zone. I film every day normally and, you know, come on here and record and, and spend time with you guys. And I have um, struggled this week to get back into the recording mode, I guess. Now let's see if I did this good enough. I don't think so, but we'll try. No, nope, it's not. I thought so. I'm just going to pull the scissors up through it and kind of rip the edge a little bit because it's right there. It's cut just, you know, and then I can just trim. Okay, so watch. Now, mine has, I'm going to have to trim that. Mine has the top loading pocket here, okay? Now, at this point, you could actually, um, let's see, I moved. I moved all my punches. I moved all my drawers when I got back from the vacation because I had so many different things to put away. And you know my small space. If you've ever watched my video with my, my room, um, it's kind of hard for me to make more room for stuff. <laughs> you guys should see me. I'm, I'm so surrounded by things. And then Courtney, he's like, where did all the stuff we bought go? And I said, I put it away. He goes, how did you find a place for it? I said, I don't know. <laughs> I rearranged a few things. Yeah, so anyway, I'm going to take my one inch hole punch and I'm going to go ahead and try to get this as even as I can and do a little punch right there. Oh, actually, I think I used my half. I meant to use a hole. Oops. Eh. Yeah, oops. See? Gosh, Tara. Quit dropping things. I apologize. Um. My grandma would say, I've got the drop seats today. There we go. And this little piece right here is going to bug me if I don't trim that. And I need new scissors, or skizzies, as I like to call them. I need to get my little butt over to I I Ikea. <laughs> okay, so now we have our first one. Okay, so you've got your front, your middle, and your back. And like I said, Remember, you can put your pocket here or here, okay? So let's go for a second one and see if we can do this one a little bit quicker. I'm going to try one of the, uh, one of the eight and a half by 11s. So you just fold it in half again. This one will just, of course, be a little bit smaller and a little less square shaped. It'll be probably a little more triangular because of the fact that it's so much, you know, it's so much shape different and smaller and everything. Did I say triangular? I meant rectangle. <laughs> I don't know if I said triangle or not, but that's what I think I said. Anyway, it'll be less square and more rectangular. Okay. Now. Okay. I want, of course, I want this on the outside. So I'm going to go ahead and I want it to be long enough because this is going to be what? Let's see. This by itself will be the five and a half. So if I wanted it, I could do it like 
tall. I guess we could try one. I haven't tried one like that. And it would be, what, four? Four and a quarter? Let's try one, just, just for fun. Let's try one. I mean, you know, why not, right? This will be more square because I'm using the vertical instead of the horizontal. So flip it out, use this other side as my guide for folding. Just like Miss Tina has taught us. Okay. Yes, yeah, I don't recall that Tina made any that were shaped from the, I don't think she used A4 at all on hers. I think it was all 12 by 12. Um, I just, one thing I do remember standing out to me in my memory of it was how hard a time she had remembering where to cut. It was like, okay, which way do I cut it? You know, because it's very confusing. I mean, to be honest, it really is. So I want it to open this way. So I'm going to trim. Oh, wait, let's do it. Sorry. Let's do this part first. Our little V's. I'm just going to do it one at a time because the last time that method didn't work very much for me, folding it over. It's fine. I can get them close enough to where it won't be real obvious. Now, so we want this part to be our pockets. So we're going to go ahead and cut this left side. Okay. All right. And also, if you have pictures that you want, um, if you want the pictures to show on a particular, uh, you know, as the cover, you're, we, there is a way to do that. Um, like I wanted in this one, I wanted the nest to be the cover. So I did it so that I cut above it on the right side. I like, I like sat it on the right side and cut it. So if I, if I have something here with paper, I'll show you what I'm talking about um, with a picture on it, you know. Okay, so now I'm gonna glue my pockets. I move these. Every time I hit them, they bang on this glass. I wanted to work on my regular mat today, and so I moved everything and put a piece of paper down so the light wouldn't shine in y'all's eyes. But now my my scissors are banging on the mat <laughs> and being obnoxious. Sorry, I'm having glue problems, which is weird because it's a brand new bottle. I haven't used this before. There we go. Okay. All right. I was even trying to figure out how to do like the fold on the pockets so that um, we could have like that little hinge on the inside that gives you a little more of a gap so it's not taking up so much of that. But it wasn't working for me. So yeah, I gave up on that one. It did not quite do it. I was over here folding like a mad woman yesterday with these, trying to figure every, every aspect of it out so that I would be able to have a reference for today um, when I was doing it to explain it to you, if at all possible. So if you have any questions, you know, you can ask me in the comments and I'll try to answer them as best as possible. And I will attempt to find uh, Tina's video, and maybe she has Gail's linked to hers, so. Sorry, I had to get a drink, kids. Um, yeah, so here we go. So we fold it backwards like we did before, and there's our cover, and there's our back cover, see? Now on this one, I think I'll go ahead and do, I'm gonna lay that that way, and I'm gonna go ahead and do the glue here and have a side opening, okay? So there's that. And then you're just gonna do this side. If you're not doing the top, you can stop there. You don't have to do that portion. Okay. I think these are really cute when they're done and a great idea. Um, and so yeah, they're they're worth the effort and the fiddle to get these really adorable little booklets for your for your journal. Okay? So there we go. That's doing it horizontally or vertically, okay, with the folds for the pockets. And now I'll do this one the other way. Um 
And this one's got pictures, so it's going to be a little more of a challenge. So, just so you know. I want these little guys on the inside. But see, if I do this one upright and I turn this over, this side's going to be upside down. So no matter what, one side of your pocket is going to be upside down. So it it really doesn't matter all that much on that part. Um, now what I should have done though was look at what side I want. Because it's all kind of like the words are turned in different directions and it's just flowers and acorns and leaves, I don't have to worry as much about like which side is going to end up being my um, my cover, you know. So I think I want this on the inside and that on the outside. So I'm going to go ahead and do this like this. I don't I don't want this to be my outside. Make sure you choose which side of your paper you want, and whatever side you want to be on the inside, have that facing you. Okay. Oh, you know what I did? You probably do. I didn't fold it in fourths first. It makes it a little easier to not have it folded already. My mistake. I apologize. I'm trying so hard to make sure that I go, I take my time, but go fast enough that we can get a few done. And at the same time, explain it to you correctly. And I want you to be like, oh my gosh, I had to watch this 16 times. I couldn't understand a word you were saying. <laughs> I've had a few of you tell me that I, I teach you well and that you understand my instructions and I don't want that to change. <laughs> I hope it's always like that, guys. It's never my goal to get on here and be confusing. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay. Now, now I did that, that's good. Okay, so. Now I'm going to fold this and do my other pockets. Okay. All right. I'm hoping we have some chat time today since it's Mass Monday. Um, after this one, I think I'll, I'll go ahead and tell you a little bit about our trip and stuff like that. We had such a good time. Okay, now this one I'm going to leave at um, a little bit. Uh, this one's going to be more rectangular because I did it vertically with the paper long. Okay, you know. So when I, when I fold this in, let's see which one. So, and also, by the way, depending on, on when you're doing it this way, you see how much shorter this one is because I am because I folded my pockets up pretty much the same height as I did before. And because I am doing it on the vertical, it gives me less room. And so when you fold those and you do the fold in half, you are much shorter, see? Because this one's like that. But I think that's kind of cute. So I'm not gonna worry about it, but I just wanted to point that out to you guys. So if you like it, to go taller, um, use the horizontal as your pocket side for the for the eight and a half by elevens and the A4. Now with the twelve by twelves, of course, because it's all the same size. The only thing you need to worry about with that is where you want your cover to be and what you want on your cover. You know, so this is my front cover. That's going to be the part I glue in, so I'm not going to worry about that. And I'm going to go ahead and take off a little bit of this because it's like right five and a half. It's right at the edge of where my page would be. So I am going to go ahead and trim that off. Okay. There we go. Now, isn't that pretty? Those beautiful roses are going to look so nice. Hopefully, I got that off evenly. Looks a little bit. That's the one thing about trimming on a fold line. You're always going to have that little bit of a bend, you know? It sometimes 
you're going to run across. Okay. So now we're going to glue. Glue, 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 glue. Nova, the dot neighbor puppy, is barking. She's been barking a lot this morning. I'm not sure why. I went out once to take Tippy outside, and um, I saw that they just recent. My neighbor kids just recently got a second vehicle, and she's always home all day. Well she had left in the second vehicle so maybe Nova's barking because she's gone again I don't know because Nova was barking usually when she's home you'll hear her tell Nova to be quiet you know if she starts to bark so who knows there we go And I'm doing the pressing thing first before I rub because, you know me, I'll bend my paper. I always end up folding my paper and jerking it around. It's just better for me. So there's my little fleece on that. And now I'm going to go ahead and I think for these two, I think what I'll do is, um, hmm, because it's going to be so deep, I, I think I'll go ahead and cut the top. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and go around and I'll just trim that top open and make it a top loading pocket. Totally up to you guys what you want to do. I hope you guys try these out. Let me know if you do or if you decided to craft along with me. That's always very cool to know that you were doing it with me. And uh, sometimes you guys will, once in a while somebody will post their mass make with me on Facebook. I always love to see what you guys did because usually you guys like take it the next level and do something, you know, that I haven't thought of, which is always so funny to me um, because I think it's so cool when you see another person's take on what you've shown them, you know? Okay, come on, scissors. I think the scissors that I accidentally threw across the room that are over on the floor right now are the ones that do this better than... <laughs> Oh man, I just went too deep. See, that's what I was trying to avoid. Look at that. Do you see it? Uh, Tara, 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 you just made your pocket even shorter than it already was. It's okay. Not going to worry about it. At least it opens this time. So there's that pocket, okay? And I really went off, so <laughs> I'm going to have to give it a little more of a trim there. There we go. That's better. Much better. Alright, this one's cute. It's tiny, but it's cute. Mini, but mighty. There's three. What time is it? Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, I'm not doing as bad as I thought. It's only 33 minutes. I'm going to get a drink, guys. Okay, now I'm going to do one that'll be a little more confusing. Great, right? Okay. But I'd really like to have one made out of this paper. My Tim Holtz paper that I'm almost out of. Gee, little sticks, I've used it so fast. Not a hoarder, me? No, 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 I'll use it up. I'm like, oh, I'll use it. It's there, I'm gonna use it. So we're gonna fold it in half. I'm just gonna I'm not going to talk you guys through all of this. I'm just going to talk about the part where I have to choose which side because that's going to be when I need to talk out loud. And, oh, come on. I'm not confuse myself. Let's see. Sometimes when the paper is thicker like this, I have to like hold it differently to fold it right. Have you guys experienced that? it this way and there we go. All right, so I'm hoping to 
get the right thing on the right spot. Um, trying to remember now I want of course my pockets to come up this way okay um, I think this is going to end up being my cover if I'm not mistaken okay oh you know what we should do really quick really 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 quick is I should have done that before I fold it it's too late too I'm going to have to do it this way going to say I want to cut down a little bit. So I'm going to use the center of this row right there to be my line there. And um, make this shorter because that six inches just won't work for me. Oh wow, I see how bad I folded this. Oh gee whizzle sticks, look at that. Do you see that? That's bad. It's very, very bad. Bad folding. Bad folding, Tara. I wonder if we can fix it. I'm gonna give it a shot. That one is gonna drive me crazy. Let's see. I fixed it a little bit. Okay, let's see. Ah, my cutting and my folding are just horrendous right now. This is when you might see me pull out my cutter if I can't get this to even out, so. It's because I had that folded so bad. That's funny. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, I'm pulling it out, you guys. I'm gonna be a good girl and just not drive myself insane here. We're gonna, we're gonna cut this baby down correctly. I know that there are some of you out there going, finally, she pulls out her cutter, geez. <laughs> I don't really stress about lines being off too, too much on the normal, you know, on the norm, but once in a while, I'm like, okay, that's, it's a little beyond fixing, so if I can correct it with this big old monster of mine, I will. Ugh. That's why I don't pull it out very often. <laughs> okay, now, so we want this side to be on the inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it like this. <clears throat> now, if I wanted to use this, this side as the front and back cover. What's going to happen is if I cut it over here, the page that's coming back up is upside down. Okay? Oh, no, it's not. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. And so I would rather do the side that's going to give me the butterflies that are right side up. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and trim this on this side. So the the trim should be on the side, above the side, that you want to be your cover, okay? That's how you can, that's a good way to remember which side you cut, is that above what I want my cover to be. Because when you fold this in and you bring it to the front, there's your butterflies, okay? Now, of course, this is upside down, but I'm going to decorate over it, so I'm not worried about it. This one, though, is right side up, so I don't have to do anything if I don't want to, and it's cute. So, Okay? I hope that I, I wasn't speaking slowly because I think you guys don't understand. I was speaking slowly to make sure that I was saying it concise and correct. And uh, even though I did that trim the way I did, it's still buckling a little bit and uneven because this thicker paper which is what I was telling you in the beginning, will sometimes argue with you. And these are the kind of ephemera that there's so many folds and so many pockets with it that if you want to have it in a lighter paper, it will work. Like these will hold up well. 
because they have a lot of folds and they're sturdy. They're sturdily made. Okay. So let's see, let's chit chat about the trip because I'm sure there are some of you who are wondering what all we did and you know, basically we shopped and we ate, okay, I'm just, I'm going to put it out there. We shopped, we ate, we slept, we shopped, we ate, and we ate, we shopped, and that was it. One thing we did do that was nature related was we went out and we collected the leaves and the leaves are what I made the echo dyed papers from that I put onto our Facebook group and showed you guys um, and I think I showed you uh, yesterday or the day before when I first did them because I was super excited about them <laughs> they're now available in the shop if anybody would like them I um, digitally altered them I did the light set which was more of a neutral I did the deep browns and then I did a digital altered green set I want to and I've started it I'm doing it did a digitally altered blue set and purple so that should be it's really pretty so anyway okay so I'm not giving you advertisements but there were some of you who showed interest in how to do it or wanted them or whatever and so they are available if say you don't you're like me and you don't have trees but you'd like to have some echo deck paper um they did turn out really well um it was my first real attempt at that and i actually my first attempt and i thought it turned out good i was excited so that was one thing we did we went out one morning um i think it was yeah it was saturday morning uh we took a few pictures and being silly because we both we take horrible pictures together it's so hysterical um and we took a few pictures at the park we went to this park in downtown flagstaff um in old flagstaff where all the you know all the city buildings are and then like the the old buildings that have been around forever and it's kind of the trendy area where there's a lot of stuff that we really wouldn't involve ourselves with to be honest but um beautiful parks down there so we went and checked out the trees and found tons of I mean the trees right now in Flagstaff there are a lot of maple and aspen and cherry blossom plum trees and the maple and the aspen are changing colors and we got there at the perfect time because the only time of the year that they they have any uh, color other than green or fallen leaves is is right now in October and so we were so excited because it was just this array you guys of amazing burgundies and reds and oranges and yellows and those of you who are from places where you have that you already are surrounded by it you know what I mean but those of us who live in the desert or who live in a place where there aren't a lot of trees like that it's so amazing to see and beautiful and we, Courtney, you know, being a landscaper, he just loves it. He was like, oh my gosh, I would love to landscape up here, you know. And um, it was just beautiful. So we collected two, like, grocery bags, plastic grocery bags, full of, a half full of leaves. And then at our hotel, there was some more beautiful trees. Um, so I collected some leaves from there because there was, like, these cherry blossom plum trees those are the ones that have the really I don't know if you've seen them before but they have like a really dark purple almost black uh, leaf and they're gorgeous well so I picked a huge amount of those and um, that's probably where a lot of the dark uh, look came from my uh, my echo dye was those leaves those and the burgundy colored maple ones I think it was the maple that was burgundy colored yeah, so anyway, then I went to Walmart when I got back the day I wanted to do it because I knew they sold really cheap, um, what do you call it, uh, bouquets of flowers. And I don't have any flowers, but the bo I have a bougainvillea bush. That's about it. I have a bougainvillea bush, I have a mesquite tree, and I have like an olive tree in my yard. Um, and that's the only leaves I had to work with here at my house. And then I didn't have anything but the, the bougainvillea flowers, which are beautiful. But they're they're not really flowery if you've seen them. They're more uh, they're shaped. If you take a bougain a bougainvillea flower apart, it's shaped exactly like a bougainvillea leaf, 
which is cool. I mean, they're beautiful. And they come, like, it's three petals that are, like, linked in the middle. And when you pull them apart, they're these little three leaves. And depending on the color of your bush, mine's like a fuchsia color, and it's gorgeous. But they do not, they do not put out a print that looks like a flower. So I was super excited because I went to the store, and I found bouquets of just mums and daisies and all these different flowers that I don't even know the names of and I used those to get those flower prints that are on the echo dying so it was very fun and I was super excited that it worked okay so there's that one I like it this one's cool and I'm gonna real quick I'm gonna cut this one down because I want to use this one too and I don't want it to be so long Hopefully I can do this and then just re-glue wherever I need to. Okay. Because I know I'm gonna need to. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Okay, so grab another piece of paper. What time is it? Let's check, let's check. Okay, 45. So you know what? I did want to do uh, these are printouts. Uh, that's one of the green printouts. That's another one. And then here's one of the, see the flower? There's like these little red, reddish colored flowers and this is like a big um, daisy type flower, yellow daisy type flower that I used. So what I was gonna do, I wanted to make one out of one of my echo prints here. I'm trying to make stuff for our um, Thanksgiving junk journal. I am, I'm getting started on that, and I'm not sure what type of cover I want to do, whether I want to do a soft cover or if I want to do more of a hard cover. And use like a you know like a cereal box or something like that or even if I want to do another folio I have an idea why don't you guys let me know okay let me know and whatever idea gets the most votes or the most suggested to me I will go with that because I really don't know uh, what type of journal I, I know it's gonna be covered with cloth because I did buy Thanksgiving cloth which I think I showed you guys on Saturday but I'll show it again to you. Oh, I bought an extra thing I found at Walmart too, this little guy, so cute. But yeah, this is our cloth, okay? And that. So I am gonna use cloth on it, on the cover, but that can be put on a cardboard journal too, or a folio, like we know, so whatever. If you guys wanna do another folio, or do you want it to be a hard cover or a soft cover, okay? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Okay. You know what? Since it's already almost time for us to say goodbye for today, I think instead of doing one more, I'll do this one when I'm done with, with the video. I want to decorate. Okay. Let's see. Because we're making for our, our, um, what you call it? Our, our Thanksgiving journal, I think this is going to be in there because it's, this is part of the paper I'm going to use from Tina's. This is Tina's um, Thanksgiving paper her, or her autumn journal kit. But this is like a really peachy color too. Yeah, I think I'm going to use this one. Okay, now let's see. I just cut out or printed out, I'm sorry, these fussy cuts of Tina's that are gonna go in there. So let's use some of these. How's that? I've never done this with you guys, sat and cut fussy cuts out that I'm gonna use. <laughs> let's see, I like this little guy. Gosh, that dog is being so loud today. I don't even know why. I really think his mama isn't there and he's just doing it to, cause he can, cause she can. She's a, she's a she, <laughs> not a boy. Okay, these are all journal cards. Yeah, I'm not going to use these. So let's see. Let's take out one of these butterflies. Okay. 
But Tippy, don't start barking. I know she's barking. I know, baby. And then let's use. I want to use this little guy. Oh, this one. Let's use this little guy. Okay. Can y'all hear him or her? I mean, it's really loud in my living room because we're so close. I think I told you guys this. This unit is a. Um, what do you call it? It's a, what do they call it? A duplex. But it used to just be one house. And the good thing is, is that everything on our whole wall that goes down the length of our home is brick. And then on the outside is brick. The only reason I can hear the dog barking is because I'm at the front of the house and that's where our, our window is. And so you can hear her through the window. But if you're in the rest of the house, you can barely hear any sounds coming from over there because of the brick. Because our side was an add-on to the original house. And so, um, yeah, so it's, it's all brick. But like I said, the outer brick wall of their side used to be the outside brick wall to the house. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? Anyway, I hope it makes sense. <laughs> Uh, anyway, it's a blessing. You know, we were homeless women, you know, before. And I mean, there are times that Courtney and I want something bigger and, you know, not even necessarily for the sake of wanting something bigger and better, but wanting, you know, to, to kind of grow with us because this house is so, so small. Um, but then we, you know, we also think about where the Lord brought us from. And we were, you know, we were before we were living in a car and then we stayed with my high school friend Corrine and uh, Rini kept us going you know let us stay with her for over a year while we saved for our own place um, very very kind and sweet lovely woman uh, we love her so much Rini if you ever hear this video I love you with all my heart and um, we've been friends since we were what 16 yeah I met her when I was 16 so for 40 years. We've been friends for 40 years. So yeah, she let us live with her for, and and and, and love living with us and said we were the best roommates she ever had. <laughs> so that was always sweet. You know, it was nice to know we were welcome. But yeah, when it was time to move out, we had to find us a nice, you know, a little place and that we could afford. And in Arizona, prices have, as everywhere, but, but at the time, they hadn't gone up as much everywhere else, but in Arizona, the prices were astronomical compared to what they were, you know, just a year before. And it was because of all the people coming here from other states and, you know, it just had gone, we had blown up in the valley and it was insane. So that's what brought us out here to Coolidge was that we could afford to move in here. And because of the rent being lower, um, we ended up, you know, because we were willing to take a place that wasn't fancy and expensive and stuff, we've had, we've been able to save. So we look at it, you know, just as the Lord's hand moving upon our lives. Yeah. So anyway, there's our butterfly. And then that little guy, what else do we have here? We don't want those. I have some more of these mushrooms. These are so cute. I love these so much. Look at that. I just do. I love that. So let's go ahead and do a little bit. Have I been in? I've been in frame this whole time, right? I sure hope so. Because I haven't checked. I didn't check at all, actually. I'm pretty sure I have been. I'll know when I check the video. Oh, I hope I have been and I don't have to redo the video. That would be horrible. Okay, so yeah, this part's going to be glued in, so I'm not going to worry about that. I'll go ahead and do a little bit of, you know what, I really shouldn't be using that one. It's a much different shade than Vintage Photo. It's brown and all, but it's just not quite as warm. It's a coffee from Archival Ink, and it's got, I don't know, it's got a different look to it. I like the I like the archival bit. I mean the um, vintage photo better. So. Okay. 
So anyway, yes. Yeah, so we went out and we explored and picked leaves. That was the only thing we did outside of shopping. <laughs> I'll be honest. The first day we got there, okay, we went to a little, um, what you guys in the UK, I believe, would call a charity shop. We call it a secondhand store. Um, and we went in there and it was called Hodgepodge. Cutest name ever. Um, yeah, so we went to Hodgepodge, a secondhand store, and I found, oh my gosh, they had all of those. Um, I don't know. Did I actually... I don't think I pulled out the drawer and showed you guys. I just showed you on paper the stamps. But I found 30. These all came from my trip. I found 30. Can you see those good? 30 stamps. Look at that. Look at that. And these all came from three, yeah, three different charity type stores, secondhand stores. And they're all in working order. They're perfect some of them look at that this cost me a dime a little Christmas tree you know um, some of them cost 50 cents some were 10 cents some were 25 I think the most I paid was for this one and this one was three bucks but this thing is huge look at it it's a big beautiful Christmas yeah three dollars big beautiful Christmas holiday wreath so yeah so I got all these goodies I was so excited and so at hodgepodge um, I got some stamps. I got a few of those yarns that I showed you guys and a couple of the books. And then we went over to another shop called Sharon's Attic and bought a few more things. And there I found some more stamps and I found some more yarns and a few ribbons. And um, I don't remember, I don't think I got a book there, but then we went over to um oh i think we went to dinner after that because we had already been let's see we got to check in early at the hotel oh i have a funny story about that what time is it let me make sure i have time okay i have a funny story so we get in we get into flagstaff and my husband you know it's we're supposed to check in at three o'clock and he goes well I said, well, why don't we try? Let's just ask if we can check in early. You never know. It doesn't hurt to say, you know, to ask. Because if the room is ready, they'll usually let you. He goes, okay. So we went and we get out and we go inside and the guy behind the counter, you know, we're talking to him and asked him, you know, since we got here a little bit early, we got there around two. Um, you know, would it be possible? He goes, well, let me check. And so as he's waiting to hear back from maintenance and housekeeping, um, we're talking with him asking him, you know, where are you from? Are you from Flagstaff? He's telling us he's born and raised, but he has family down in the valley. And I said, oh, I grew up in Gilbert. He grew up in Phoenix. And he goes, oh, I have family in Gilbert. And I said, really? And so he names, I go, who do you know? And he names off his, his family, the Padillas. And I'm like, I know a Padilla in high school. I went to school with him. And I told him his name, you know, and he goes, oh my gosh, that's my cousin. <laughs> so <laughs> I ended up knowing <laughs> my sister would say, Tara, where do you go that you don't know somebody? It was so funny. So we ended up having this really nice chat and you know, it, it was so funny. Um, and we got to check in early and uh, we put all our stuff in and then we went over, like I said, we went to Hodgepodge. And then we went over to, if you guys ever go to Flagstaff, there's this restaurant called uh, Crossroads Train Cafe or something like that. It's had a huge, it's off of Route 66 and it has a huge sign that's red and says restaurant, okay? It's right by across the street from the train tracks. And um, that's one of the reasons they call it the, the Crossroads or Railway something. I can't remember the exact name, but it's cafe. Oh my goodness, the food is phenomenal and huge portions delicious home cooked meal. You cannot go wrong going to that restaurant. I, I promise you, you will love it. You will love it. And the people that own it are very nice. It's family run. It's been there since 1965. I remember that because I was born in 66. So <laughs> yeah. So anyway, highly, highly recommend this restaurant. Um, if you ever go to Flagstaff, wonderful food. I know a lot of people visit Arizona, so it's possible that somebody listening may go there. And if you do, that's a good place to eat. We tried a few different places. Um, 
we ate some Mexican food at a place called Salsa Verde. Salsa Verde, I think. Um, I think that's the name of it. Okay, I gotta tell you, the food was delicious. But, as my husband pointed out, the servings and the price did not match. Um, your serving was much smaller. Oh, and then they only give you free chips and salsa, one bowl, and then after that you have to pay five bucks for your chips and salsa for every, you know, basket you get. So, yeah, it's kind of, eh, you know. If you're from the Southwest or you know Mexican food restaurants, to, to not get free chips and salsa is kind of a bummer. And then to have to, and then to pay, you know, like $18 for a plate and then you get it and it's, it, it really isn't a fair portion of <laughs> it. You know, and my husband, he's not a big guy, but he is a big eater. He loves to eat. And, um, yeah, he was not happy with his his serving. <laughs> he was like, okay, I paid way too much for this little tiny plate. But, um, yeah. But the food, taste-wise, very good. I like the food as far as that goes. Look at these little guys. They look so cute. I was thinking I should have made that a tuck spot. It would have been a perfect tuck spot. And then I went and did that. Oh, well. Oh, well. We're just going to go with it, I guess. Huh, guys? You know, I was thinking you could even put like a little, uh, like a little group of papers in here and make it a notebook. It would be really cute like that as well. Now he kind of looks like he's sitting amongst the, the little group of mushrooms. And I'm going to put this little guy right there. And then, I don't know, we need something else, that's for sure. And then i got to decorate the inside as well. Okay. I think, <clears throat> of course I think we need gold. When don't I think we need gold, right? We need a little gold. Our butterfly, he needs he needs something. He's he's need he's in need of something. I got a little bit ex, uh, exuberant on that one. That's okay. It's gold. I'm not going to care cuz I'm going to go like this and I'm going to bring some onto the page as well. So it matches our little man. Sprinkles of gold all over. You know me. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I want to be careful. I don't want to cover little man's face. I have a tendency to do that. There goes Nova again. Can you hear her barking? I just know her mom is not home and that's why she's making so much noise. She never barks like this. There we go. Okay. And then let's get some words out because we want to give a, a wonderful message, something positive. Mm. Purple is not going to go. No. No, 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 no. All right, Tippy. I don't need your input. Come on. Tippy hardly ever barks, and I usually, when she does, I actually usually encourage her a little bit because she uh, she's so quiet. <laughs> I had the lady um, that babysat her when we were gone, and she said she is. She texted me pictures of her every day, and she said she is such a good pet. And I said I know she's been that way her whole life. She's just always been that way. Um, it's not an older, because she's eight and a half, you know, and it's not even an older dog thing. That's her personality, and she's a super smart chihuahua. Um, I think it's funny. My daughter used to say, Tippy's not very smart. She won't do tricks, and I'm like, yeah, you talk to Tippy. Tell her what to do. I mean, she'll do what you tell her. She just doesn't like to do tricks, and <laughs> she doesn't like to perform for you, you know, but if you talk to her and tell her what you want, she will totally do what you tell her. I mean, she is a smart girl. You know, 
She's just, um, you know, she's her own woman. She's like, I ain't doing tricks for you. I don't want to. I used to tell my girl that. I'm like, sis. We call my daughter sis. Her name is actually Maria. But we, I'd say, sis, she just doesn't want to do tricks for you. She goes, no, I don't think she's smart. I don't think she can learn. I'm like, mm, no. She, she's too quick to respond to me when I talk to her and tell her stuff, you know. Have you ever had your animals be like that? You know, you have this dog or cat that just, you know they understand what you're saying. <laughs> you're like, okay, you have to understand what I'm saying because it's just creepy otherwise. <laughs> How'd you know, you know? It's funny. Like my cats really only bother me. They get pate twice a week and it's because if they eat it more than that, well, if he eats it more than that, he starts to get sick to his stomach, okay? So, of course, Mia cannot have it either because then I'd feel bad, you know. So the cats only get their pate once a week or twice a week on Wednesdays and Saturdays, okay? And here's the funny part. They really don't bother to come into the kitchen and ask for anything only on Wednesdays and Saturdays. It's bizarre. Me and my husband are both just like, seriously? And at 4, I mean, Tippy eats at like 4.30 in the morning. Um and at 4.30 in the afternoon, okay? And she will she will start bugging me at around four o'clock for her food. She knows, and by 4.30, she's like, get that food out here right now. I know what time it is. <laughs> and so Courtney, he's like, they know. They just know, right? I said, I know, they do. It's so funny. Anybody who's got animals knows what I'm talking about. Animals are smarter than we give them credit for. Anybody got any good animal anecdotes about your pets? I love to hear I love to hear pet stories. So we're almost done and I think I'm way past my time and I apologize. I hope that you liked these. I hope that you give them a try. I'm just gonna put down this one last little guy here. I think he's adorable. And uh, and then I will shut down the video and you guys can craft and do your thing. <laughs> I will not keep you any longer. You know, I could just hang out with you guys for hours, right? But, you know. Look at that. It's so cute. Tina did good with this one. I got another one from Etsy. I'm not sure what the shop name is. I'll have to put it. Um, I'll have to let you guys see it. But I got another one that I haven't printed out yet, and it's similar to hers. And so I bought it because it has like the same color schemes. And I want to do this journal with this as the internal, you know, the peaches and the turquoises, you know, or whatever this color would be. Anyway, I got one more side to do, but this is our little booklet with our notebook or our uh, file folders or pockets, whatever you want to call. That looks really nice with that paper and him sitting there. So cool okay so I hope you guys enjoyed it today and that you make some and if you do please let me know okay oh I forgot to pull back when I was way out I apologize so you guys couldn't even really see me anyway there we go there's our love is patient pockets okay all right I'll see you guys later have a wonderful wonderful day God bless you and I love you bye